Alright, here is the latest installment of the copper cell. So we've got a similar design to the first one I had, which was the stainless steel bowl. The thing I didn't like about that, it was really hard to get the copper off of the stainless. And I didn't like how it crystallized on top of like my anode and all... And, it basically made the conductivity of it very hard to get through. So what I'm going to attempt with this one is to make sure that my my anode is completely submerged so that the crystallization doesn't get built up between the material and stop the, the voltage from, from getting through and seeing my cathodes. So I'm going to get you in hand mode here. So it's a very, very similar setup as the copper cell. It's just made bigger. Um, I'm at... I'm going to go with the Delrin filters here if this doesn't work. This is just copper or uh, cotton from an old t-shirt I have. And inside I just have that ring. Those are stainless steel clamps. These guys here. Stainless steel clamps, stainless steel screw with rubber insulator. And then uh, of course I just got three copper dragons. This copper tubing that goes around. I've just got a, a small little hole here that comes out where I flatten the tubing so that I can get my alligator clamp on. So I wanted to uh, kind of show you everything before I, I get into making the, elect, um, the electrolyte, which isn't really going to be fancy by any means. So the one thing I like about the filter is that all of our slimes are captured. So I shouldn't have to worry um, about the slimes getting down there. Now, because it's cotton, the real fine particles might make it through. So after a while, I may have to go down there and, and get it. Um, but the majority of them should be hanging out here in my, my filter. So let's get to uh, making some electrolyte. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, to be honest. It's just the root killer. K77 root killer destroys roots. Uh, main thing you want to look for is the copper sulfate here, right? 99% and then you got 1% other. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump this in there and then add my distilled water. And it's only going to be small bits amount at a time. So I'll, I'll, I'll see what the distilled water can absorb. If it absorbs it all, I'll add some more. And, and if I have a little bit of uh, crystal on the bottom, after everything is done and over with, I'm not too worried about it. And this is also just first stage of this cell. If this works, what I'd like to do is get two holes in here, basically a supply and a return, connect it to another basket or another uh, bucket here with, with all copper sulfate. So we've got a ton of copper sulfate, so the solution should stay the majority of, of copper for a very long time, which will give us a huge lifespan on it. And it'll keep the flow moving so we don't have to worry about stratification of our solution. And this is a gallon and a half. So I shouldn't need too much. Well. I got two gallons, but I don't think I'm even going all the way up. Alright, there's one gallon. that's where I'm going to keep it for now. So we've got quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, material to consume yet so if I wanted to expedite the absorption of that copper sulfate what I could have done is you know basically heated the uh, distilled water up and then pour it in here slowly but uh, yeah, it'll it'll happen over time. I'll stir it over occasionally um, Just to make sure that we can get it absorbed and then once we've got all of those 
crystals absorb, I'll just put some more in there, if it needs any more. <laughs> I forgot to drill holes in here. So going back into hand mode, this is just a candle holder that was silver. You can see it's copper, there's a little oxidization on it, so we'll see how that goes. But my plan is to run all of the, um, the silver plated items I had just as is, just to see, see if it works. But we've got plenty of solution. We now have to get it to absorb. And um, yeah, what we'll do is, like I said, we'll, we'll stir it, we'll slowly add it as we need it. And then my anode is just gonna be the same, same one I used for my, uh, my little copper cell. Here's a little update. We got some nice crystal growth going. I think we're uh, I think we're in business. It may look like some of the slimes are getting through, so we may have to rethink the bag. What is going on, everybody? Ah, this copper cell. I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, it's been a couple of days, and it seems to be running okay. So the thing, uh, there's a couple of issues that I have to adjust. Um, well, at least figure out before I can make any adjustments, right? So one is it takes a lot of volts uh, to get any kind of amps. Now, that could be because my basement is rather chilly and it takes a long time for those, uh, um, those crystals to dissolve in there. So I might not have enough um, copper sulfate in, which not the end of the world. Uh, I'll actually be checking on that here in a little bit. I'm going to go just see if it needs more. So I've had to add some more crystals. Now, um, the crystals that I've added at this time are very little bits at a time, just so I don't flood the bottom. So like the first go around, I put quite a bit in, as you can see in the video, but it absorbed all that, no problem. Uh, it did take a day or two, and then uh, I just put in a little more, I wanna say yesterday. So I gotta verify that it's it's good to go. A um, little bit late, little bit of a later work day today. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's Christmas, right? Need to get some, uh, Christmas peasants going. So anyways, copper cell back to making copper dragons. So I'm really excited about that. Really excited about that. Um, and I probably could fit even a couple more in there. I probably could do maybe six at a time. Really move some copper. And I got the Decron bags ordered. So I think they're actually going to be here tomorrow. So I think I'm going to make the switch. And um, I might even double them up. So I remember with the last time I did with the Silver Cell, just one um, seemed to have, you could see a little haze every time I picked it up. So I imagine something was coming through. Um, but I switched to kind of like this cotton filter. Now... It's really small. I've got only like really small patches of it and it seems to work really well this go around. I don't get that same haze. Um, but the Decrons are pretty big. You know, they're for uh, shop vacs. So I think, I think I'll double them up and we'll call it a day. And even if something gets out in the bottom, it's not the end of the world because it's, it's off of the, the actual copper crystal. So I may just do one at a time, uh, save some money, right? <laughs> money's in the copper well i suppose those slimes are going to be good that's where all the goodies are all of our silver and gold and possibly platinum metal groups platinum group metals i say that all the time i say it all the time <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one